Konnichiwa. Hello, my name is Nikana Kano. I'm exchange student from Japan. Uh, now I'm in Florida State for one year. I'm 20 years old. Um, Japan, I'm going to talk about the greeting. In Japan, we don't shake hands, we don't hug, we just bow. And actually, we have different types of bow. Um, so, this is 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. So, they have a specific name to it. This is Echeku, a light bow, called Echeku. It's for a casual greeting, so if you see friends, senpai means um, senior in a school, so you bow to them. And this is Kei a general bow called Kei Rei is a formal greeting or showing appreciation to someone. So you, if you see teachers, you say good morning and then you bow. That's the outside Kei Rei. It's uh, the most deepest one, deepest bow, and showing deep, deep apology. So if you say sorry or if you apologize to somebody, you bow 45 degrees. And different degrees of uh, bow meaning different things. And we learn from the kindergarten or much younger. And we bow to a teacher in the morning and we get in elementary school. And when you get business, um, in the business, um, we have so many ways to handle the business card. Do you see any differences in this picture? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so <laughs> this is bad. That's that good way. Um, because the, the name and the alphabets are for to um, people that you're going to give it to so they can be easy. And you cannot write anything on a business card. That that would be really weird in Japan. And if you get if you receive a business card, you cannot like hold the part that company says or people's name says. That's that means it's insulting other people. And do not bend or damage business card in front of its owner. That would be considered a direct insult. So be careful. So um, as you learn about Japan, it's high contest. Culture. So this is the inside of train. Do you see any differences in this? Like the chairs color. That means um, those are the priority seats that you have to give it to the person who have uh, to elders person, physically disabled person, person with babies, expecting mothers, and people with inter um, internal disabilities. So if you see in the situation, you see like the students are sitting on a chair. And elders are sitting up in front of them, and you can see the um, priority seat mark. So you have to stand up, you have to give up your seat, and you have to say, um, would you like to sit here? So elders that, or other people that have disabilities inside, they will say, oh, thank you so much, and they're going to see you, and you have to walk away. Um, but if you notice, somebody noticed that Japanese people sleep on the train. I've been to New York City, and I've never seen people sleeping on the train, but in Japan, so it's still comfy, and train is still comfortable. I usually sleep on a past my train station all, all the time. Because in winter, um, they have a heater from the feet. So it's really comfortable. Uh, people, um, table manners are pretty important, too. Um, some people, I've seen people, when I go to Benta or Mr. Roboto, people are like holding <laughs> chopstick like this, and I was like, how do you eat with like crossing the chopstick? So there's like a preferred way to use chopstick, but if you give out, you can use pulp. Um, so I'm going to talk about the bat manners, that you shouldn't use chopstick in this way. It's in Japanese, but I'm going to translate to English. So um, you shouldn't use chopstick to pull dishes close to you. That's really rude. And NG means not good in Japanese. Um, keep eating the same dish continuously is not that good. You shouldn't, you shouldn't suck the tip of the chip chopstick to get the last bit of food. Um, you should not touch a piece of food with your chopstick and then not pick it up. You should not use chopsticks to spear food. I've seen so many people doing that in years. <laughs> um, you should not remove grains of rice uh, from the side of chopstick by sucking with your mouth. Do not point things to a person and write chopstick like that. Uh, resting chopsticks sideways across the top of the judicial bowl is not polite. You should not put the chopstick to your mouth. Um, to your mouth, if there is so still dripping from that. And poking 
one foot around using your chopstick. <laughs> um, you should not stick your chopstick straight up to the bowl of rice. Um, this practice is only used in Buddhist, Buddhism funerals. You should not um, stuff food into your mouth more than once. You should not weigh your chopstick about food, like which one you want to eat. On scary soup, trying to find the last chunk of food like tofu is not that good for you. The food you like, you know, searching around. And you should not pass food directly from your chopstick to another person. That's really weird. Uh, holding the bowl to your mouth and shoveling food in quickly, you shouldn't do this. <laughs>